what's up guys here's the finished product of what we'll be learning how to create in this flash cs3 and cs4 tutorial it's a holiday halloween animated bat scene and uh, if you want to see a witch going across the moon in an animated fashion just let me know and i'll i'll teach you how to do that we'll make the the broom and her hair flap in the wind and everything as she's going through there but in this lesson you can learn how to create this whole scene and these bats flying throughout the scene in a loop animation so whether you're making banners or a little scene for your website if you want to get a little holiday theming on it this one will show you how nicely okay let's go into flash and create a new action script file it can be action script 2 or action script 3 whatever you like we're not going to rely too much on code as much as we are going to be playing on the timeline let's go, let's go to rectangle primitive I'm going to draw out a rectangle. You can be in CS3 or CS4 for this. Let's go ahead and transform this gradient on this rectangle. If yours doesn't happen to have a gradient already, you can go to the cutter selection, give it a gradient. Now we're going to transform the gradient to where the lighter part is on top. Let's get this straight. Okie dokie, now I'm going to change the color to a nice amber sky maybe right about there that looks good for starters and now I'm going to create a new layer let's call this one sky let's create a new layer let's call that one moon let's create another layer and let's name that one bat or bats and let's create another layer and make that one mountains okay so in the sky layer we want to have that at the very back of our scene the furthest layer back then the moon's going to be on top of that so let's draw the moon out grab a uh, oval primitive hold shift down while you're dragging it out to keep it circular and let's just make that white convert to symbol right click it convert to symbol movie clip call it moon okay now you can give that moon a filter effect of glow bring a blur all the way up and change it from red to white I thirst the moon. Okay. Now I'm gonna make this background just a little darker. Just a little bit. So maybe right about there. Perfect. Now let's draw out the mountains. Let's grab the mountains layer, highlight that layer. You can lock all the rest to make sure you don't put anything on those for now. And let's grab the pen tool and let's go ahead and draw some mountains out doesn't have to be very precise or anything whatever works now we'll highlight that line tool that we just made or the line that we just created and connected and we're going to give it a fill of dark color right there that's good maybe even all the way black or closer to black that's good we don't need that edge there we go now when you press control enter you'll see that it fits in there real nice See. so now we have a moon the sky in the back and a uh, nice mountain range going all we need is the animated bats put all kind of cool Halloween stuff so let's do it okay first we want to get the bats layer to the top and the mountains layer locked let's unlock the bats layer and now we can draw out our bat okay let's draw a wing a bats wing so let's click here with the pen tool I grab the pen tool let's click down then go right about here click down and hold and click on that dot and go right about here 
click down and hold and drag get the curvy one again and then click down here then let's go right about here click down you can make a little bulge there if you want or it could be straight and let's go right about here drag it up there and then let's connect this now let's grab it let's give it a fill black <coughs> all right that's good looking bat wing now let's take the edge off of that we don't need any edge and it's not going to be that big but now we can duplicate that and have both sides but really what I'm going to do is just animate this wing to be flapping and then I'm going to duplicate it and we'll have our both of our left and right wings ready to go and all you do have to do is make one so what we'll do is first we'll highlight that wing and convert the symbol movie clip let's call it wing okay and now let's go inside of that timeline now inside this symbol it has its own timeline and everything we have uh... Let's see what's this layer name how'd that get there let's put that back over here where it belongs okay so the layer name we can call this wing okay now once we're in this timeline it's a simple matter to animate it just right click it convert this object instance here to a symbol Let's call it inner wing or wing inner okay yeah that's good and so what we'll do is skew it and scale it so what we'll do is bring the registration dot to right about here where you think it'd be hinged to the bat you know what I'm gonna turn that upside down actually let's flip that modify transform flip vertical I think that will look like a better bat swing okay so now either way it would work so let's go ahead and grab the free transform we have our pivot there so let's go ahead and make a new keyframe on hmm, I don't know we want it to flap fast so maybe five and then make another keyframe on nine create motion tween create motion tween I just right clicked and created motion tween between those dots you can remove the tween if you need to create motion tween alright so the dot in the center we want to have maybe right about there and then we want to scale it in a little bit to where it's not the same size to where it looks like it's moving in 3D space just a bit <clears throat> so let's see what we have let's go ahead and drag this that's good very simple okay so we have that let's bring it over here let's resize it down a little bit to the size we need it and now let's go ahead and press control C control shift V modify transform flip horizontal and now we have the other side's wing ready to go so let's go ahead and press control enter see what we have that's pretty cute all we need is the body in the middle really let's get this frame rate up to 30 so we have good animation control enter perfect now let's draw in the body so what I'm gonna do is draw in the body and then after the body's drawn in then I'm gonna group 
all three items together into an, a movie clip themselves. That way we can animate it further, like we'll need to. <clears throat> okay, so let's grab the pen tool again, and uh, yeah, let's just draw half the bat, really. Let's give it a uh, maybe right about here to right about there. And then click down here on this dot, click up here, then click right about there. Maybe go right about to there. Now we can go straight down, meet up over here. Let's take that, give it a black fill remove that line, don't need it. Double click inside of it first. Press Control C, Control Shift V, then modify, transform, flip. Vertical, oops, that's the wrong flip. Modify, flip, transform, flip, horizontal, and now you'll see that it will just attach to itself. See, now it's one shape. And there's the bat's head. We can give him little beady eyes if we want. Bring out oval primitive. Make them white or red. Red would be cool. There we go. Okay, so there's the bat's head. Now all we need is a little body. So let's grab an oval primitive. Something like that. Nice fat bat. Just sucking a lot of blood. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now let's take that, grab all of those, and convert to symbol. Make a little movie clip, call it bat body. There's a hundred different ways you can do this, but this is how I'm doing it. Uh, registration. Let's give a registration center just in case we want to animate that, but I don't think we'll be animating that. Now let's bring it over to where we want it and scale it down. Oh my god, his body's huge. Let's double click inside make the body not so tall there we go that might even be too tall still let's try that that's much better he's still a little fat okay now let's see what we have press control enter there's a bat look at that now he's still a little bit too big so let's just scale him down further bring him up that's more like it. There's a cool looking bat. Okay, so now all we have to do, and his head's a little big as well. I'm gonna scale him down some more. That takes care of that. That should even actually look better because of the wing on the bottom. The bottoms of the wings. Yes, much better. That's perfect. See? Okay, now let's grab all three of these items, convert to symbol, and let's just name this all bat. The whole bat. Okie dokie. Now, at this point, with the bat in its own movie clip, it's a simple matter to double click inside of it make sure we grab all of those three pieces again the body and the two wings convert to symbol let's call this animated bat you can name these things symbol one symbol two it doesn't really even matter okay so now inside of here's the main timeline you double click inside of the bat and you have another bat movie clip all compiled into one piece 
if you double click inside of that there's the three independent pieces which are all movie clips as well but we want to be in this layer here so here's the main scene double click there alright now all we have to do let's call this bat one you can put many bats in here and use the same one duplicate it just put them in different position different sizes and tweening to different places right so now let's click uh, first let's get him where we want him to start out so let's go and put him right about here and scale him down really tiny teeny tiny let's make the alpha none now let's go to frame I don't know, maybe frame 10. So we'll see how it looks. If we need to change it, we will. Create motion tween. And on frame 10, let's grab it. Give its alpha back to 100. Let's scale them up. And let's move him maybe to about right here then let's go to frame anywhere you want right there create motion tween you can set these frame distances any way you like now let's bring him maybe over here make him really freaking huge something like that and let's fade him out oh that might not look good Here, let's just make him big and bring him up out of the out of the way. Now let's press Control Enter. See there? You got a bat flying across the screen, like he's coming in from the sky somewhere and going up. He's going a little bit fast, so all we have to do to remedy that is drag out these frames. See how that looks. Oh, that's sweet, man. You don't even really need the fade in part. And you can also skew him. Let's give him a skew right here. And then over here, let's skew him this way. Make sure he gets out of there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. See, now he's kind of skewing around. Actually, you want to skew this one the other way. Nice. Okay, now all we got to do is uh, you can make some more. Make some more bets. So I'll leave that up to you, really. Here, I'll show you how to make another one. Here, let's make a new layer. You can call that bat two or whatever. Grab that central bat, the one in the middle, the middle layer there, or the middle of the timeline. Control C. Let's put him right there. Control V. And what we we'll want to do with him is let's put him on the other side of the moon. Let's skew him back right about there. Scale him down. Put him into place. Actually, let's make him start from the bottom over here by the mountains. And then let's go to frame, I don't know, any way you want. Right there. Actually, I'm not going to give this guy alpha out. So, right there. And bring him out to on that keyframe let's create motion tween here on this keyframe let's bring him out first let's scale him up so we can see him better let's bring him out to about right there with the skew 
then let's do the same thing to him where he goes off the scene create motion tween let's grab him let's put him up here make him really big now let's control enter there you go Got bats flying everywhere. Let's bring this guy in the first one down here instead in the mountains. Let's see what that looks like. Awesome. So that's how you can create all kind of flapping bat animations in the moonlight for your Halloween scenes to impress folks. Or make advertising banners for holiday themes or whatever. If you want to animate things, that's a good way to do it. Okay, we'll see you next lesson. Maybe I'll put a witch going across, an animated witch on a broomstick going across. If you guys want to see an animated witch on a broomstick going across the scene here, flying across the moon, I'll show you how to do that. And just let me know in the comment area and rate this video high to let me know you like enjoy this sort of thing. And that's how it works. Okay, so if you want to see the witch going across the moon, just leave a nice fat comment saying, yes, I want to see the witch going across the moon. Do it now, Adam.